you would not believe how deep down in the bushes we installed this 2.2 million dollar solar system welcome again family it's another day in the life at essential solar it's a new format i don't know i did this once already i think it was very informative so i'm gonna keep doing it you guys let me know in the comments if you like this format it's basically give you a window into our day-to-day -day activities and stuff like that i mean we can't bring you everything but we, we try to bring you as much as possible i want to big up the team the technical work is hard enough already so i big them up for you can send me these videos so today we're looking at a 8 kilowatt day solar system full day that's what we do that's our brand we are you know the authorized distributor for day in jamaica and the wider caribbean this system was 14 panels 560 watt panels one of the 8 kilowatt day a hybrid inverter smart wi-fi hybrid inverter it's a very intelligent inverter three of our five kilowatt hour day lithium batteries stack nicely and the price 2.2 something million now let's run it off call it 2.2 million dollars so the customer sent a wire transfer on august the 21st you know to pay for the system we offered to to install and deliver um, august the 22nd but they told us to, to wait until august the 23rd which was a friday so we went ahead and, and scheduled our team we scheduled a team for that on august the 23rd when we're going to do our job we we know we we do our research so we know where we're more or less where the um, place is we ask the customer always ask our customers for the gps location so we realized that this um particular um place was it's a home was in a very rural place in um wait wait a bit but it's in no is it's you know it's in a community that we never really see any road but no worries we are prepared for anything we happen to have four-wheel drive vehicles in our fleet that we may mobilize so we mobilize one of our four-wheel drive vehicles just in case we, we would need it we would end up going in and out to the location from the main road but thankfully there was a good enough road a dirt track and the regular two-wheel drive vehicle could manage it um, with some help you know with some with some spotting because you have to kind of sometimes they have to get outside to make sure that you no know, stones were that they could have you know pass through the, road, the terrain was very rough but that's to show you we don't play around we anyway you want the solar we will get it there we have our four-wheel drive vehicles and we will get your system set up wherever you want it done if it's blue mountain no problem we get it done yeah, so, so we finally arrived. Wait a bit, Chilani, and you can see the, the place is such a beautiful place. I must say this is this is one of the, the nice thing about this this type of type of work where you can get to really really relate to the 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 the, 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 the entirety of, the, of 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 our beautiful country because we get we get work in some really nice beautiful places and this is one of those beautiful places which is part of the reason why I wanted to to bring in this one you know in 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 essential solar fashion. We got straight to work. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that this job, the 14 panels, took us uh, only 24 hours or so. It was a concrete roof, so it was extra work because we do not drill into concrete roof. So what we do is um, we place them on concrete blocks, uh, curb wall blocks. It's an extra expense, but that's what we do. And um, much harder work as they're, they're heavy. You know, 80 pound one of them curb wall block weigh. So, and this job at 28 blocks were used and they actually glue them down as well to make sure that they're you know secure on the roof i think they reached there about about 2 p.m maybe a little bit later because to tell you the truth it was difficult to find a place and the job was done by 2 p.m the following day that would be saturday the house you can see here the house uh, the inverter working i can see solar coming in um the battery is at 100 percent already you can see the grid bringing in on the top right side of the, the, the touch screen. Grid bringing in very, very little amount. Um, it's negligible, really. Um, and the house was using 450 watts at the time. 1309. So that was 1 p.m. So before 1 p.m., the job was done. <laughs> so, yeah. 
when we come to your place, we don't leave until the job is done. When I say that, I mean we don't, we don't, we don't come to your place and then we, we, if if we leave, we're going to an, some an, an accommodation nearby that was organized for us because obviously we're not going to sleep in your yard um, without your permission or anything like that. But there are times when I believe that the team had to sleep over at this location because there were no Airbnbs nearby. It was a very rural place. Wait a bit. The team just went through the night and just rough it and, you know, like soldiers. Our technicians really put out a lot. So I'm really appreciative of the way how they, they handle themselves and so on. Get the job done. You know, we're not complainers. We just get the job done. Right, so if, if things don't work out perfectly, there's no fancy hotel nearby, we have to rough it, we just rough it. And that is what was done. It's just, it's just a part of the job. And that's how we conduct ourselves. Now, I'm not going to say that every, every other company would conduct themselves in that same manner. You know, some people will probably take three days because they'll be commuting to and from, um, you know, wherever they, they're coming from. If they're coming from Kingston, you probably have to They'll probably deliver and then come back the next day and you know we take them a little longer to do the job but this is how we roll this is how we do our thing and um, i have to really you know hats off to, to our technicians you know for how they conduct themselves and how they do the work they're serious about this work you know we are serious about this work i have to really applaud the level of understanding that our grassroots jamaicans i mean evident in the location of this place our rural it is, our grassroots Jamaicans understanding of leveraging the latest technology for their benefit and the benefit of the community. Everywhere that there is solar is a point of electricity generating and that strengthens our communities. Um, and we can talk about some examples of that. Like the hurricane just passed the other day and I have customers saying, hey, when the hurricane passed, the whole community would have to come to my house, come charge up them phone and the whole of them laptop and all of them something there. So it's a strengthening of the community. That's very important. And I'm so happy that, that we're getting it. You know, we're getting it. We as Jamaicans, the grassroots people, we're getting it. Understand. This was a video about a, a home in a rural setting. So until next time, Take good care of yourself.